welcome to another wine-tastic, wonderful Wednesday video. All right, so we are continuing the series of Girl Scout cookies, because why would we not, right? It's my favorite season of the whole entire year. So yes, we are in a new location today. My lovely fireplace is finally constructed, so I have a new place to film in, and I think it's gonna be a great location. I'll have a new TV behind me shortly. In the next few episodes, we'll be seeing that. And yeah, so our flavor of the week is none other than our favorite flavors, peanut butter patties, also known as tagalongs, if you didn't know that. Some of the flavors are named tagalongs or peanut butter patties. It depends on what bakery they're made in. Any fun fact you know about that, but depending on the bakery they make the cookies in depends on the name of the box. So some of the cookies are named differently than you remember them. Like I think Thin Mints are named something else along side, but for some reason I remember the one, this is the one flavor I remember the second name of, that's Tagalongs. But there are two different names for each of the flavors because of the bakeries they make them in, they give them different names. I'm not sure the history on that, I was a Girl Scout, I should know the answer to that, but I don't. But anyway, that's a fun fact for you guys if you didn't know that. Alright, well anyway, so we are pairing our peanut butter chocolate patties with a Merlot. Now this is a Yellowtail, uh, special Merlot. It's a Cabernet Merlot mix, which I thought was interesting. And I was like, oh, I need to try that. And a Merlot goes really well with peanut butter. It's a very dark and dense flavors you get with the blackberries and the black currants, the berries and that. And it's super, it pairs super well with peanut butter flavorings. And the chocolate, the darkness of that really hits well, especially with a very dry red. So this is a very dry red wine. Um, not like 100% dry, but it's about, uh, it's maybe like 75% dry, if that makes sense. It's kind of how I'm guesstimating it. I, I, that's what a Merlot really would be, is a drier side of the wines. Um, it's good though. I love Merlot, so we're going to give this one a try. I've never tried the, cap I don't think I've tried Yellow, Yellow Tails Merlot. Have I? Have we done that yet, guys? I don't remember. Anyway, I haven't done, I definitely have not tried the Cabernet Merlot blend. So we're going to see how that goes. It looks delicious, and the berries... It has berries in it. Um, it has definitely black currants in it. I've read. Now, the back of the wine does tell you exactly what's in it. Oh, and it even tells me how much of the Cabernet Merlot mix is in here. So it's 60% Cabernet and 40% Merlot. So it's mostly Cabernet. So maybe this isn't the best pairing, but definitely a Merlot is good for peanut butter patties. But I did see this and think it was interesting and I want to try it out. So we're going to go ahead and say this goes with this lovely wine here. So. Got my wine aerator in here and my lovely tall red wine glass to go. Let's go. Let's aerate this wine. Oh, it looks so good, you guys. I am stoked for this red wine. I have no idea. All right. So we're going to give our good old wine a try. We're going to swirl our reds always. Get those flames brewing and make sure the particles are off the sides of the rim. Ooh, it smells really sweet. Uh, when you first smell it, you're like, ooh. It's got that Cabernet sweetness, like really strong sweet scent, like a cherry scent. And then you get the Merlot, the darkness scent, so it's very bold. I sense it being a very bold dry wine. So let's go give it a taste and I'll let you guys know how good it is. Ooh yeah, that's very dry. It's not bad. It is not bad. I will say that. But yeah, if you're not into very dry wines or bold, bold wines, then this wouldn't be your favorite wine. But oh, that just hits really differently than most wines I've tried. Um, it is definitely a budget friendly wine because Yellowtail is budget friendly. So that could be why. Um, but um, wow, that just really, it, yeah, it, it, it hits really bold. You're like, ooh, that's a dark red wine kind of feeling. Um, yeah, so you definitely can tell it's a Cabernet, and then you can hit get the sense of the Merlot in there as well. So definitely dark berries are in there. So there's definitely some cherry. There's definitely some black currant. Um, I definitely taste some blackberry as well. So all the dark berries are definitely in here, and it's a really good mix. So let's give it a shot with some of this. Uh, these peanut butter patties here. Let me open the box. I have yet to open the box, guys. So we'll be giving this a try. And these are one of my favorite ones they have. So we'll see how well it pairs with this lovely wine. And I 
Like I said, a Merlot is good for a peanut butter and chocolate mixture. It always seems to pair well. You know, the more darker chocolates and the more denser flavors really go well. So that's all what peanut butter is. Very dense. And then you get the hint, the hint of chocolate. Mmm. Yep. Still my all-time favorite. Oh, yes. That goes down smoother when you have the cookie. That is so... I, I don't know why. The flavor hits differently once I've had a bite of the cookie. And this, it's more smooth than just having it by itself. So if you're mixing... So I tell you guys, if you're even if you're having a peanut butter sandwich, this would be really good with that too. I straight up tell you that. Um, the peanut butter and the Cabernet Merlot mixture makes it more smooth tasting once I've tasted it for a second time. When I first tried it, it was very bold and hit me really hard. But after having a bite of the cookie and then this, it was like, it just kind of like, it simmered. It like went smooth all of a sudden. It was so strange. It was the weirdest thing. I'm like, that's so weird. How one minute it's like, woo, a bunch of waves. And all of a sudden it's calm. So, um... Wow, yeah, that is a straight up good mixture. I am impressed. I My mind's blown now. I did not think that would be a good combination, but it's a fabulous combination. So definitely guys, if you're looking for a budget friendly wine wine uh, combination with your peanut butter patties or ta slash tagalongs, go for the Cabernet Merlot mixture. That's fantastic. I'm super impressed at how good yellowtail wine paired with this. I was a little bit leery when I saw Cabernet Merlot mixture, but I'm like, it can't be all that bad. It must mix well, and it does definitely. So um, I would say definitely go for, um, you can either go for either or, really. A Cabernet or a Merlot would actually really pair well with this as well. So if you don't have this particular brand, if you're not going to want to go for a Yellowtail, that's fine. You can go for like a regular Cabernet of any brand or a Merlot of any brand, and I guarantee you it would still work well. Um, but I just happened to find this lovely Yellowtail that was a mixture of both, and I was like, oh, i got to give it a try. Hey guys, it works. It's fantastic. It's a great flavor combination. I'm re again, I'm just really impressed at how good that tasted with the cookie. Um, and I would definitely, like, I'm gonna have more of this, definitely. This whole box might be gone by the end of the night. Just let me just give you that. Anyway guys, that is my lovely review of this wine. Um, as a rating, um, because Cabernet Merlot mixture is so like, different and not commonly seen I can't really give it a strong rating but I'm gonna give it maybe like a six out of ten just because it's so it's so diverse and so like not random but like it's oh interesting I've never seen that type of thing so you wouldn't commonly see a Cabernet Merlot mixture I don't think out in the stores I've only seen it I've only seen this one one kind of it so and I searched all these liquor stores and I've never seen a Cabernet Merlot mixture Maybe you guys have other brands. I don't know, but I've never seen it. This is the only brand I've seen so far that's had that mixture. So that's why I gave it a six, because really, I don't know. I mean, it's not my favorite Cabernet. It's not my favorite Merlot. Mm. But, um, yeah, I would have it again. I, and I will. I'll finish this bottle off by the end of the week. Um, yeah. Um, also, guys, as a reminder, all reds pair with red meat. So you can also have this with roast beef if you want to or like grilled burgers and stuff like that. Um, it's not just for peanut butter patties, guys. You can certainly pair your red Cabernet Merlot with a red meat of choice. It would go, it would pair really well. Um, and yeah, there you guys go. That's my wine-tastic video for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely cookie journey we have, we've been on today. Uh, next week we'll be having another cookie journey. I'm not sure which one I'm picking yet, but we'll have one ready to go on Wednesday. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic wine-tastic Wednesday. Um, any questions, suggestions, comments, or whatever, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll reply back as fast as I can. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. I post once a week. Um, want to see it pop up in your notifications, hit the bell button for that right there. And with that said, I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.